Lowell Armstead now in the backfield to the left hip of, oh, of Doyle. Here comes the blitz. Back to pass. He's getting pressured. He eludes and then fires long downfield. He wants Jackson, and he makes the grab inside Terrific the catch. five. Terrific catch. First and goal for the Red Flash. Armstead in the backfield with the tight end Hunter Brown. Armstead now in motion. Doyle to throw. Flings it out to the far side. Armstead hauls it in and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. For Louisville Armstead, that is his first touchdown reception of the season. And St. Francis jumps on top with 13-11 left in the first quarter. Delayed count. Off the play fake. Doyle fires far down the loud sideline, right sideline. It's complete for Snyder. First down inside the 15. Rosemond was in coverage, trying to wrestle the ball away from the wide receiver, but the red flash continue to move the chains. Second down, back to throw Doyle again. Looks end zone, left side, and he's got his man, Surratt, for the touchdown. It goes for nine yards. And for Surratt, his 12th touchdown reception of the season. Back to the full house as Doyle comes over center. Second and goal. Plunging through and breaking the plane is Holmes. And St. Francis jumps on top 20 to 7 with 9.34 left in the second quarter. Completing just under 50% of his passes. Takes the shotgun snap and is forced to roll out of the pocket. Chased by Donnell Brown who comes up with the sack. 21 to seven, St. Francis on top looking for more. Split backs next to Doyle. Motion by Armstead. Doyle rolls, goes end zone. And it's a stab by Surratt. And St. Francis jumps on top, 27 to seven. Merrimack now first down from their own 23, and that is going to be McCusker deflected and intercepted by Willie O'Hara, who comes up with his first career theft for the Red Flash. Our first turnover of the game. They're in golden field position, already leading this one 28 to 7. First and 15 for the Flash from the 37. Play action by Doyle over the middle, has Jackson on the run, and the slant brings him down inside the 15. Move the chains, first down St. Francis. He is very, very dominant. He is controlling this game. Would you fight me if I said I see a little Drew Brees in him? Uh, I, <laughs> that may be overstating okay. it a little bit, but I, I, he's, he's very impressive, my goodness. Play action to Holmes, goes end zone, diving stab, did he hold it? Yes, he that's, did! That's Dawson Snyder catching a 15-yard scoring strike. And St. Francis jumps on top 34-7. to Still in a quarterback out of the pistol. I think they're going to go at least one more series. Make, make, try to get another score, finish on a high, and then get everybody out of there. Holmes on the first down carry. He gets out of a shoelace tackle and look at it, break it to the outside with he some speed. It. And could yep. he go? Yes. Being chased from behind by Taylor. Yep. And he's gone for the touchdown. 70 yards for Kaysan wow. Holmes. You talk about playing about as good as you can play. That's, that's phenomenal. Armstead in the backfield to the right hip of Doyle. Looks, has the slant connected to Snyder, and he goes into the end zone for the score. And that fifth touchdown pass of the day ties Cole Doyle's career high. It's 51-7 to St. Francis. He is a little gunslinger, isn't he? <laughs> St. Francis with its second ever FCS playoff bid. They win the 2022 Northeast Conference Championship, knocking off Merrimack on the road, 52-23. Congratulations to Chris Valario and his Red Flash.